You can also show something of the uh, algebraic solution on the continued fraction. Uh, for the square root of 2, you would uh, just uh, square both sides from x equals the square root of 2 to x squared equals 2. Uh, subtract 1 from each side. And now you can factor it out to x plus 1 times x minus 1 equals 1. Divide each side by x plus 1, and you get x minus 1 equals this. Now you sub add 1 to each side, and you got x equals 1 plus 1 over 1 plus x. Uh, and what you do from this point on is uh, substitute this formula into here, into itself. The reason you can do this is, of course, x squared is x times x, so you can put x on each side of the equation. And it has uh, an additional uh, numerical formulation, which is applied. It looks a little weird, it looks a little suspicious, but it seems to uh, work. And uh, we would do it here, something like this. Take x equals this. And the same thing, just rewritten, but just note that this is x, and I'm going to substitute this for this right here. A little weird, so I'll show it again. 1 plus x, you put x equals this, so you put uh, that uh, formulation back in here. You've got it now, you've got 1 plus 1, so that will equal 2. And now you've got the beginning of the formula of the uh, continued fraction. And of course, the process just continues. Try put this back over here. This goes right over here. And now you continue the process. That equals 2. And it just continues on and on forever. And you can see that uh, here. Let me uh, bring this up. Solving quadratic with uh, equations with continued fractions on Wikipedia. This is where I got it from. And you can uh, verify it all over there yourself. Oh, just be sure you uh, Google this. Don't try and use this uh, URL for some reason. You just got to Google this uh, title. Now, there is some more to the uh, algebraic treatment of continued fractions. And uh, I don't much care for it myself, but uh, just to show you. This is the general form for a continued fraction. There's not a lot of introductory material. Uh, what I'll show next, I've barely worked through and uh, have barely any understanding of. It's called recurrence formulas for a simple and ordinary uh, continued fraction where ones are the uh, uh, numerator of the fraction part and uh, all of the quotients are uh, whole numbers or integers at least. There's convergence, here's the formulas, here's the rational approximations you derive from this recurrence formula. And I'm just going to run through it. I'm not going to uh, much of an explanation. I don't quite understand this option, but uh, it apparently exists. One, the b sub n's are all ones, so that, uh, that can be eliminated it's one times that portion and a sub n's are all the outside a sub 0 is 1 in this case and the n here is uh, listed down here shown down here so that convergent is uh, in the multiplied times this convergent which is starts with over here and uh, you continue, subtract 2 from n. You have negative 2. Yeah, q is equal to negative 2 down here. p is equal to negative 2 here. And uh, for n equals 1, you get 3 halves. For n equals 2, you get 7 fifths. And you can see the 7 fifths, 17 twelfths. But I uh, will leave the uh, develop, further development to those more interested than I am.